Coming up on Around Kern County, there's a new program helping residents learn job skills in everything from electrical to operating engineering. We're sharing details on the multi-craft pre-apprenticeship training program and how you can get involved. And the Department of Human Services has launched a new way to connect with our community. A look into their Heartbeat for Human Services podcast when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. We're beginning today with some updates from this week's board meeting. Supervisors declared March as American Red Cross Month here in Kern County. This campaign honors the Red Cross, Kern County, and Eastern Sierra chapter for giving hope to our most vulnerable residents in their darkest hours. Whether it's providing emergency shelter, food and comfort to families, or giving life-saving first aid to those in need, our local Red Cross volunteers have been helping our community for decades. We are the fourth uh, oldest uh, Red Cross chapter in California. So the great history that we have here built upon the foundation of amazing volunteers and generous supporters that have carried out the mission to alleviate human suffering in the face of disasters, whether large or small. Kern County's Red Cross volunteers have supported our communities through disasters like earthquakes, wildfires, death storms, and mudslides. To get in touch, please email eddie.zamora5 at redcross.org or call 661-203-4452. And the board also voted to proclaim Adult Education Week here in Kern County beginning March 28th through April 1st. During this week's board meeting, supervisors saluted the Kern High School District and their administration, teachers and students of the Bakersfield Adult School and their different partnerships with our county for providing job training to Kern County adults. I'd like to uh, thank the board and uh, the county's support for our, our adult education programs. One of the newest programs that you may remember was the Recycling Lives program, where we're recycling glass and we're working with AB 109 um, students as well as homeless students to help them with paid work experience um, and develop themselves with an individual professional plan to get them back in the workforce. Supervisors recognized the program's efforts and accomplishments this week and celebrated all of the job training opportunities designed to help residents successfully enter our local workforce. And as we continue to highlight local job training opportunities, we're celebrating the completion of the first valley-wide cohort for the multi-craft pre-apprenticeship training program held right here in Kern County. This six-week course provides a variety of classes for each trade labor union, ranging from electricians to operating engineers. This program is designed to encourage residents looking for a new job to participate and gain a new skill set. Right now, you're taking a look at the graduation of Kern County's first cohort. The next cohort will begin May 23rd and last through July 1st. The classroom portion will be held at America's Job Center Employment Training Resource Center. Participants will also spend two days a week in the training facilities for each trade. To register, applicants can visit valleybuild.net or contact David Hudgens at hudgensdw at outlook.com or call 661-912-9440. The Kern County Department of Human Services has launched a new way to connect with our community through a podcast titled The Heartbeat of Human Services. Just four episodes in, this show is already making an impact by providing residents with an engaging way to learn about the department's resources and staff. From CalFresh to employment services to social work, DHS serves a large portion of our community, guided by their department pillars of opportunity, options, and empowerment. 
This is the heartbeat of human services, a peek into the inspiring stories of our community and all things DHS. And learning how to navigate uh, services um, and this social worker was definitely all in, very committed, um, and working with that grandmother to make sure that she understood how to navigate and provide her with the services. That grandmother later contacted me. The referral was now closed, but let me know how much she appreciated this social worker. This creative addition to DHS's communications can be accessed on more than 20 different podcast platforms, including Spotify, Apple, and iHeartRadio. Just search Heartbeat of Human Services to listen. And if you'd like to get in contact with the show, email questions, comments, or suggestions to social at kerndhs.com. And we're ending today with a tasty program at the Kern County Library designed to promote reading with children this spring. The in and out Cover to Cover Club is open now through April 16th. For every five books children between the ages of four and 12 read or have read to them, they'll receive an achievement card for a free in and out burger. Each child can earn up to three achievement cards by reading a total of 15 books. To participate in this delicious and educational opportunity, please visit any local Kern County Library branch. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.